hi friends what's this clinter window here a button as we go on clicking this button the number of clicks are counted and the same value is also displayed here and this we are doing it using the on click event of this button and we learn how to do this this is a simple program so this is the blank template we are using just a window of 400 by 150 we can just run and see the blank window here on this we'll place the button but before that let's just create the our variable count and we'll give the value as zero this is where we'll be storing the number of clicks now before next we'll place a button we're giving a button now tk dot button now my parent window is my underscore w it's line number two you can see we have declared it so here it is now in, on this window we'll first give some default text so because we will be changing the count so we are saying count equal to zero so that's all this is the default text appear when the when you run this program and this text will keep on changing so that is why then we'll slightly give some width also let's give width equal to uh, let's give around 16 and here click counts will write it so that is a better way of representing the number of counts so you got it the width is 16 now next line will go and here we'll write command what happens when we click this button command equal to lambda and we will say my update this function will be calling but we have so far not written that one we will write that then it's like background color or bg equal to we will give uh, orange and slightly bigger font will keep it font equal to 12 you can change these values and as for your requirement so now let's place this on a grid b1 dot grid is the first element or only element so we'll give row 0 then column equal to let's give 0 and pad x from the left edge how much gap we are giving it's let's give more because no other component is there 100 and pad y equal to because height is less so we'll give 50 now that's all now this is just the I completed the layout now let's give the function because what when this button is clicked my update function will be called so for that we'll say defining the function my upd or update this is the function name now inside this what you will do will access the global the variable count because this all keeps on changing so inside the function we are accessing this one so we'll say global count so now it is no more a local variable it's a it's outside value we can take it so then each time this function is called now the count is count plus one so it increments by one now next line what we will do this value will display it in our button so for that we will use config and we will say text now what you are changing is we are changing the uh, text written on the uh, button so for that we will say click count now slightly space then slightly again space now we'll say plus why you are plus this count is a integer so to add it to a string we have to use the str and then count so str count so this will this value whatever the integer value one two three four whatever based on the clicks that we are converting into a integer first then adding to the text and that we are uh, adding to another string here and that we are replacing as the text so that's all so this is our small code not very complex also let's just run it and see whether any thing is wrong okay it has come up so button is there let me just click this one as I am clicking every time I click this button this particular command here command is lambda my update this triggers this function and inside this function count whatever the value of count is taken add it to one and then just replace the text same text uh, on the button that's all this was a small uh, program and it is useful to understand how the click event triggers a function so you can just download the source code the link is there at the description and if you have some doubts suggestions questions on this or any other thing you use the comment section below to post it i request you please 
subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post new new tutorials and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching